it's snowing outside and I thought this would be a good time to show people how I paint my dumbbell eyes. I did a video, a YouTube video, not too long ago and it's getting quite a few views on putting eyes on the jigs. Well this is this one is putting eyes on uh, barbells. A little bit differently because uh, it is a four-step process. I dip my eye in white as a primer yellow as a second coat because I have the white behind it it pops and then I do the eye which is I use my nail tool to put the eye on uh, and then I put Sally Hansen's hardest nails over it so this is it's it, the process you need some hair clips and you need uh, a drying wheel like you hear it in the background uh, you got to put your uh, eyes when you dip it because we're using a lot of paint on a wheel that rotates around so that the paint is evenly distributed and it'll, it'll form a perfect eye so here we go guys uh, it's a good day to paint eyes on barbells okay I hope you can see this let's back out a little bit when I paint my uh, dumbbell eyes I have a four step process the first is white I, I take white that I get from Walmart and I add a see if you can see this one two three four five about six drops I make this little pile then I take my dumbbell eyes that I happen to have already in my hair clip and I turn it upside down and see if it, a little hard to do with the camera and then I, then I dip it in much and as I dip it in I pull up you notice how it just pulls away from it that's putting a lot of paint on that eye I do the same thing again you see that I dip it into where I want it to go and I pull it up and now I'm going to put it on my air dryer rotating air dryer and that is important because we put a lot of paint on that eye and it takes about an hour to dry but we want that to be perfectly round and by putting on the air dryer you can do it let's let's do it again so we're going to take one and we're going to dip it. And we're going to dip it. Ooh. Well, guess what? I'm trying to do the camera and everything and I'm not paying attention. So I'm going to dip it again. And I'm going to put it on my air dryer. Now, I'm going to try to move this up so you can see it. But uh, let me move back. And we're going to go to the air dryer. I want to show you something about the air dryer that I'm using. This, this is a pretty simple one, so I'm going to take another one. I'm going to just show you. I'm dipping it in my white, and I'm using white as a, like a primer. It's going to make the other colors pop. And when I go to put it on, I can actually stop and hold this, even though it's rolling. And put it on so there's it's pretty easy you can control it by just stopping it so you can put it in one of your little holes like that so again the white is the primer I'd like to show you one other thing if you'll notice I have a little I didn't really clean up this eye that great but I'm going to be dipping and putting a lot of paint in and I don't think I have to clean it up so what we're going to do is we're going to dip it in our paint see now this one's pushing it up a little bit but I can roll it around and you notice what happened is even though that little burr was there it's now covered with paint and when that paint dries it's not, I'm going to build up the base with a, a yellow paint. 
that's going to be dipped and that's going to basically take that imperfection and cover it up okay the white is done it's time for the yellow so we put a few drops of shook it up then I get a little little pile here clean it off a little bit here my paint and let's get started I don't know if you can see this let's see if you can see this but there it is it's pretty it's pretty round but it's gonna even get rounder now I'm gonna dip it again just like I did before so you can see it let's do it this way dip it in I'm trying to cover the white you don't have to but you see it's, it's putting a lot, lot of lot of paint on there turn around and dip it so you can see the white. I'm going to try to get right up to the edge of the white. You don't have to, but there it is. Put it on my wheel, turn it on. Okay, you know, and what happens is the paint wants to roll, but what it, it's rolling back and forth as it dries and it's getting its shape. So again, here we go. And I've got to, I guess I'm doing about 30 of them. So I'm dipping it in. And dipping it in. And there's a lot of paint on there, you can see it. Then I put it into my air dryer. And let me move it up for you so you can see it. See, it's over there working. So I got to do 30 of them and let it dry and then come back and do the eyes. So, seeing it in over an hour. I thought I'd take a close up so you can see how it's making it nice and round. A little bit further out, see if that makes a difference. Now it's time to put eyes, the pupils, on the barbells. And as you can see, these are my uh, stylists, nail stylists. Uh, and we're going to pick one of them. I'm going to use the green one, put the others aside. And then I'm going to take, let's see, make sure I got this lined up. Okay, we do. Then I'm going to take my black, just shake it up real good. Unscrew it, the top, and put it down right on my center. And then what I'm going to do is take my stylus, my pen, dip it in here and, get, and put a little round circle on my barbell. We got it here. And because we're painting it on, we're now adding a glob of paint. We don't necessarily have to have the wheel be turned and we can just put it in there to dry and after it dries for about an hour or so we can then put our Sally Hansen's hardest nails on so I've got to do that now to about I think I got 30 here and it's pretty simple it's, you got a nice round eye on there And one thing I'm going to point out is that you'll notice between the eyes, it's not painted. 90% uh, of the time, material is going to cover that up. If you want to paint them, I've got a special process to powder paint them. It's, uh, it's a little hard, but I don't think you really have to do it. So you can, you can get just your lead eyes. You see how we can paint them. We're now letting them dry with their pupil. And we'll be back to do the last stage, which is our Sally Hansen's Hardest Nails. Okay, we are on the uh, fourth step. And again, we're going to use Sally Hansen's Hardest Nails. I don't believe you have to coat them, but they look nice and shiny when you do coat them. 
and again we're going to put them in our air drying wheel but because you're just coating them you don't have to have it rotating and I've got to do 28 more so see you in a little bit well I got three sizes done and three more to go uh, thanks for watching my video